Welcome to Asian Horizon. Today I'm going to examine and explain what I was the first to term the China-Iran Economic Corridor. Now it's important to mention that China and Iran have not come up with any statements or any memorandums or any agreements regarding a China-Iran Economic Corridor. So this is a strategic forecast because Chinese and Iranian negotiators have been negotiating what is supposed to become a 25-year strategic agreement. Now, in 2016, President Xi Jinping visited Iran on an official state visit and had meetings with Al Khamenei and President Rouhani. And they then signed what became a comprehensive strategic partnership. Now, after 2016, Iranian and Chinese negotiators have been meeting in Tehran and Beijing and discussing and negotiating regarding a long-term strategic agreement. It's not known yet when they will sign it, that may be this year, next year, or in 2023, but at some point, I think they will reach a long-term strategic agreement. Now, the question is, what are the components of this agreement? Well, last year, a draft was released and there have been some media reports, but I think the, the most important components of this strategic agreement will be, number one, an economic financial component regarding collaboration on financial issues. Maybe Chinese banks will establish inside Iran, finding ways to collaborating and lending and having equity shares in terms of joint ventures on various companies, structures, in, in the, you know, industrial cooperation, manufacturing, energy cooperation, oil and gas deals. So I think the financial economic component of this agreement will be substantial, perhaps also you know, digital currency, maybe even some cryptocurrency development, but that remains to be seen. So the economic financial component will be very, very substantial. Now, the industrial and manufacturing component, I think, will be a second very important component, finding ways where Chinese and Iranian companies will develop you know, collaboration, joint ventures, partnerships to develop you know, the Iranian industry further, manufacturing, you know, in terms of Iranian energy, oil and gas, maybe pipelines. You know, so that, I think, will be very important you know, for the long-term energy supply and energy delivery from Iran Iran to China. So there will be probably also various, you know, scientific elements into the energy and, you know, manufacturing and industrial component so that Chinese scientists, Iranian scientists will collaborate further, which will also lead us into the scientific, you know, scientific and educational component of, I think, this agreement, which will be very substantial, maybe developing academic partnerships, building university babies together, higher educational institutions to really further the scientific and technological advances within AI, you know, perhaps also cryptocurrency development, and really advanced blockchain and quantum computing components as well. So I think the technological component of the partnership probably very substantial and finding ways to connect AI and blockchain into the logistics and also the supply chain element. So I think that will be very substantial. Now, the, the other element is the telecommunications element where I think Huawei will take lead on developing 5G in Iran. I think that the Iranian telecommunications sector will need more reform before they develop 5G. But I think five, you know, Huawei will have the lead on that and that will be very substantial as well in the future. Another one will be also developing infrastructure. And I think infrastructure will be maybe the most important element of this long-term strategic agreement. And I think there are three corridors in what I term the China-Iran Economic Corridor. The northern corridor will stretch from Iran across Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan into China. And the middle corridor will stretch from Iran across Afghanistan, across the Hindu Kush mountains, across the Wakhan Corridor in far eastern Afghanistan and into western China. And the southern corridor will stretch from Chabahar, which is an important port in Iran, to the port of Gwadar in southern Pakistan and then connect into the China-Pakistan Economic corridor all the way up to Kashgar, into Xinjiang, and Western China and onwards. So these three northern, middle, and southern corridors will, I think, become a large strategic China-Iran economic corridor that will connect China and Iran in a strategic agreement which will you know, go into a range of fields of economic development, financial collaboration, telecommunications, defense, which will also be an important part of this, in addition to scientific exchanges, academic exchanges, cultural exchanges, you know, university exchanges, and then developing really logistics clusters, special economic zones as a part of the wider economic corridor network in the northern, middle, and southern sections. So I think this is really important to be aware of because in the future, if they sign this strategic 25-year agreement, that could be a substantial development between China and Iran, and also integrating Central Asia, Afghanistan, also potentially Pakistan, 
and that really is really interesting to be aware of because there will be a range of opportunities within this landscape. However, currently, given the U.S. sanctions on Iran and, you know, the difficulties around the JCPOA agreement, I think China is now wary of maybe waiting until and finding a way when they will sign this agreement. Currently, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi has been on a visit to the Middle East. He's been in Iran, you know, so there, I've probably been discussing this strategic agreement as well. You know, so I think there are probably now the question of when to time it and, you know, how to find a deal that is balanced, that is a win-win solution for both China and Iran, and also maybe having other countries, you know, a part of the wider strategic infrastructure component that I've already, you know, looked into in terms of the northern, middle and southern corridors. So the China-Iran economic corridor could be a substantial strategic and geopolitical development on the Eurasian continent that is important to be aware of in the long term because it will, if signed and implemented, will have substantial implications. Thank you so much for joining and you're welcome to subscribe to Asian Horizon and I look forward to see you again.